Okay guys, I'm gonna do these in small videos, so hopefully I can get this done. So first, we're gonna pick an image. So we're gonna use this one. Um, I already had it converted as grayscale. So then you're gonna wanna invert it. So if you have software that does that, you can use that. But I've also been using this website right here where you can upload the photos. Go plus, go find the photo you want. And over here, you're just gonna click invert. Boom. And then you're gonna save it, name it, and move on to the next step. Okay, next, I always suggest uploading the picture on the piece that you're gonna use so that you can get visually an idea of where it's going to be. So I like to, for example, get an idea of where I'm going to put the colors of spray paint. So I want to focus, in this case it might be hard to see, but I want to focus on the smoke, right? So I have the smoke down here, down here in the middle, and the sides. So I'll get an idea of roughly where that is, get the measuring tool there. So the first two inches, and then within the six to seven eight and nine right there was the most heaviest area that I'm gonna wanna focus my colors on. But you know, that's preference, so. But make sure it's sized, ready to go, so that you have a good idea of where you're gonna wanna go do your spray paint. And of course, if you wanna do now, you could do your settings. So based on my hand of spray painting, I've learned that I do better at 50, 60 for my power. Depending on how thick your paint is for your top coat, that could vary. I noticed some people go up as high as 70, but for me, that's uh, been too strong and it ends up going past my paint layers. So this is ideal for how I do my painting. Okay, next step. All right, tiles in place. I'm gonna use that stick just kind of as a guide for where I'd like my colors. So I kind of made marks on it. Always have your colors ready to go. All right, let's do this. Okay guys, I'm gonna do my best. So keep in mind, you can't really paint wrong, right? It's gonna be what you want, your design, it's unique every single time. So I have this picture out as reference, so I'm gonna focus a lot on this area down here, but it's a guide at least. But remember, everything that is black isn't going to engrave. So if in sense this whole thing's painted, that's fine. Just focus on the areas that you want to show, right? So let's do it. Remember, it's got to dry as well, so you're going to want to do this in phases so that you don't get cracking. So we're going to wait a little bit before the next color. All right, next color. Isolate some purple and then heaviest area. A little bit. All right. I think it's safe to do a little bit of this on this back side. All right, let's let that dry. All right, I think we're gonna do a little yellow. Rainbow. Let it dry. Sometimes they give it some air. I like to do a little bit of white, just add some nice variations. It kind of settles the tone. Kind of a smoky look. There's no science to it, guys. I promise. 
and then let that dry really well and we'll put a top coat of black. All right, we got two layers of black on there. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Now, if we were smart and made it simple our first try, we probably would have just picked two colors. I wanted to kind of point that out um, for this video. I probably should have just done a couple colors for you guys, but uh, I tend to go a little bit wild and just go with what feels good. So you can do that too, but in this case, like maybe you would have picked red and some white, right? And that would have been awesome too. But on to the next step. Let's go Gloveforge. Also a quick reminder I wanted to point out, now that it's black, you don't know where the colors are that are underneath, right? So when you pick it up, remember what colors are where so that when you position it in here, it's not upside down or backwards. I've done that, still cool, but in this case, I know there's not as much color on this back side as there is on this side. So just a little reminder. Time to go hit the magic button and see cute puppies. Let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Whoop, whoop. My outside cave. <gasps> All right, we shall return. Waiting is the hardest part, but I'm seeing the color. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys. Now I'm prepping this photo right here. It's going to be amazing. Well, I wait for the glow forge. We're doing a fire and ice theme. So I did blue, red, white in the middle, and just some highlight of chrome over top for the next image. <laughs> you guys, verdict, here we go. Look at that. We could have gone a little heavier on the paint, but it still turned out awesome. Once we apply the clear coat, it's gonna really make it stand out. Woo -woo. Let's do this. All right, you guys, we got one coat of clear gloss on there. Look at those colors popped. Yes. It's awesome. All right, guys, I'm all done. That was my first time doing it as a video editing throughout, so I hope it was helpful. And definitely learned I could go heavier on the paint here, but I still really like how it turned out. But I hope this gave you guys an idea of how I do this. Thanks so much.